Hello guys, Adek Basi Okukbe here and today we are going to be talking about the 4 golden rules of sales. And this is not an exhaustive list but it just represents 4 fundamental things you need to understand and imbibe in your business so that you can begin to make more sales, right? So there are two groups of people, there's a first group that, you know, thinks, that thinks lightly of sales, you know, they don't want to get involved in sales, they want some low level staff to take care of it or some external um, agency or, or sales team to take care of. Uh, and uh, the second, there's the second group of people that understand how important sales is that they now go ahead to invest in sales training for themselves as business owners and also for their entire teams. Okay, so Mark Cuban, who is um, a, a, a billionaire entrepreneur in the United States, says that sales is the most important skill that you can learn in any business. It's the most important skill you can learn in any business because no matter how good your products are, they're not going to sell themselves. So you still need to take them through a process and get them from your drawing board to the hands of the end consumer, right? So let's dive right into the four golden rules. The first one is you need to organize your contacts, organize your contacts and for a lot of people, especially small businesses, once you're starting out, you you know, you, you tend to organize everything in your head. So you know, oh, I'm supposed to see Bola today, you know, for that bag, oh, I'm supposed to deliver this product tomorrow to somebody, I'm supposed to call this person um, by 6 o'clock to follow up on them. You know, we start out organizing everything in our head. But the sooner or the faster you can get that organization down, right, either on paper or, you know, onto, onto a process, onto a tool, right, the better you'll be able to convert those customers into sales or those prospects into customers. So you need to organize your contacts. Um, you need to know you know, keep notes for them. So their customer preferences, you know, their order history, how many products have they bought from you? What kinds of products are these people buying from you? You know, these particular customers buying from you. What are their preferences? What are their favorites? You know, what are their bad days? You know, once you begin to organize your contacts and not only, not only customers, by the way, you know, organize your vendors, um, your service providers, you know, um, people that you Con you are in contact with in your business all the moving parts that make your business function you need to be able to organize them right so um, a lot of people start out like I did I started out organizing my contacts with um, a journal okay so my first real business was a sales business okay it was a sales business and uh, I was I was um, representing a travel company and we're selling a lifestyle product. So what I'll do then is that I would write down a list of maybe 100 people I wanted to contact in a, in a, in a day and then I would fix appointments um, you know, with those hundred, with those that I was able to get to book an appointment with, and then I was going to keep tracking them like that. So that's how I started out. Uh, but what happens is that you quickly begin to confuse or get confused when you have so many things, you know, flying on different pages, and then you miss out on some, right? But I started out with a journal. You know, a lot of companies have moved a step ahead of that, and they use Excel sheets. And the issue with Excel sheets is, you know. You can it can quickly get burdened so when you have so many sheets to look out for you know and then organizing that information becomes a task on its own right so I'm going to I'm going to uh, at the end of this video tell you how you can organize your contacts in a very simple and effective way so let's go on to the next um, rule the second golden rule of, of sales is you need a clear and repeatable sales process a clear and repeatable sales process right and this is not hard but the it's important because if you don't have a clear sales process it will be hard for you to scale so right now maybe because you're the only one in your business you know you you understand the process that you go through that is if you actually have have it you know established 
but let's assume that you have it established but the point where you need to hire somebody else or outsource some parts to somebody else you know so that you can increase your sales team you now begin to have a problem because that other person may not really understand how you have been doing it to get the results you've been getting so once you are able to establish a clear sales process for your business it's easy for you to you know pass on that document to any new staff or you know to an outsourced external agency or whoever it is that is going to be handling that aspect of your business right if you haven't you know started um, establishing a, a clear sales process for your business the easy way to start out is just observe the last you know five to ten sales or ten deals that you've done in your business and just document how the process went you know what were the major steps um, in the process of moving that person from total stranger to you know fulfilled customer you know buying your product um, you know what were the major touch points um, in that process how long did it take so you need to map out and write this you know lay them down clearly and then you can begin to either improve them or pass them on to your team members to to take on right so and the broad areas that you want to touch on here are maybe your your research your, your prospecting phase where you researched your prospects you know where did you find the prospects right where did you um, get the information from? Where did you get their contact details from? Right, that's that's a phase. That's your prospecting phase, and then your your first contact with the with the prospect. How did you break the ice, opening up the conversation, and then how did you move into the next phase, which is your presentation or your pitching? Uh, how did you show them your product? How did you highlight the benefits and not the features? How did you you know sh um, sell the value of your product to them and not just what it can do so i mean that's your presentation phase you need to talk about your closing phase how do you close the customer how do you answer their objections and um, how do you follow up with them all these are your clear sales process that needs to be documented if it's not documented you will not be able to improve on it and there's something that comes with when you have written something down on paper you know it takes the the pressure off your brain and then you can easily review it and then see where you need to make um, adjustments so that's the second phase the third um, golden rule of success is tracking and analysis you need to begin to track data in your business track what is working and track what is not but the thing is if you are not keeping records you will not be able to see right and see where you need to you know hold back a little or where you need to go um, harder where you need to invest more money or where you need to remove money from so you need to start tracking and analyzing uh, data in your business for example if you have if you have gone through the stage of having a clear sales process then you want to measure what what is the change in the number of sales so for a particular period of time how many sales came in versus how many sales you used to do before you adopted this particular sales technique right or before you made this particular modification to your sales process before you added this landing page you know so you need to start keeping records right so increase in sales is something you can measure uh, another thing you can measure is your closing ratio so closing ratio is simply uh, how many sales it's the ratio of sales you are making to the number of people you are contacting so that's an easy way to put it so for example I contact 10 people and take them through the sales process and at the end of the day six out of those 10 end up buying my product so that means my closing ratio is six out of ten note that I didn't say how many people saw the presentation or saw your product I'm talking about how many people bought the product as opposed to how many people saw it so that's your closing ratio so if you have that documented then you can know if your closing ratio is increasing because you adopted a new sales technique so for example um, you know maybe you only follow up your customers once that's your normal route. Once you, uh, routine. Once you follow up with them once and they say they are not ready, you move on to the next customer because, hey, <laughs> I don't have time to waste. So let's say you decide to follow up with each customer five times instead of one. All right. So if you adopt that adjustment in your sales process, then you need to track. Right, track how many sales you are now making as opposed to when you were following up only once. You see that once you start 
keeping these records you're able to make a decision and say oh that means if I follow up five to four more times right after the first time four more times I'm more likely to make X amount of sales so that is the importance of tracking um, you also need to track the sales cycle length how long does it take you to move somebody from total stranger to a customer okay and that's that is about tracking and analysis it could, it could get very extensive and very in-depth uh, but in a nutshell that's what it's about okay the fourth um, golden rule of socks of sales is data driven operations you need to begin to adopt data right as a basis for making business decisions and uh, a lot of small businesses fail in this regard because right you you are you justify not using data by saying you want to save money and you do or you don't have money the thing is you need to spend money to make money okay you need to spend money in the right places in the right amounts to make money okay so and that's how business goes so this is how you use data number one the first thing you need to focus on is getting the right tools you need to be using the right tools okay you actually need to invest time and money invest time by researching the best tools out there in the market for you to acquire and adopt and you also need to invest money because a lot of times um, you need to pay for the value you want in your business so if you know that if you analyze your data and you're able to track and you're able to have a repeated repeatable sales process and you're able to organize your contacts if you know that you will make five times more sales this month wouldn't you rather invest and get that tool so that you can increase your revenue okay that's the that's the logic behind um, increasing your sales in business um, so you need to use the right tools and uh, you also need to use data to improve your forecasting so if going back to the example I gave if you know that you were following up with your customers only once and now you're following up five times and because you're now incre you've increased the number of follow-ups that you're doing you're now making three times more sales you know three times more in your sales and your revenue then you can focus and say okay in the next quarter because we have increased our follow-up we're going to make X amount of money you can have more accurate um, forecasting and projections once you begin to keep data okay begin to keep records of your data um, another thing that you know and I said I'm at the end of the video I'm going to tell you how you can simplify all this process of you know uh, analyzing or organizing your contacts your sales process um, tracking and analysis and using data to organize your business and to make business decisions one simple tool that you could use to do this is a CRM CRM starts for stands for client relationship management and it's a tool that um, a lot of serious businesses use to organize their operations okay once you're able to get your hands on any tool like this it, it simplifies everything you know you're able to keep notes as I said you know put reminders you have a calendar showing all your appointments or all your all your orders your events you know you can you can set birthday reminders you can attach preferences to each customer you can have the history of every customer uh, with your business the, the products they've bought you know the appointments they've had the progress they've made so for example you are a coach and somebody has taken uh, some courses with you and then you can know okay this person is at this particular stage so you can you can track the progress of your customers or your clients right so I want to get started with using a CRM tool to enhance your sales and your and your business operations generally um, a quick tool you could check out is bizbing.com but Bizbing is a, is a CRM and marketplace tool that I found out a couple of months ago and they're actually doing some extensive work um, helping small businesses in Nigeria to organize or manage the back end of their business so that they can um, make more sales and increase their revenue okay so just check bizbing.com and they have a free plan uh, so you can start out with the free plan you could check it out even start to use it in your business if you need more of the tools then you can upgrade to a pro plan or, or their paid plans if, if you require that so just check out bizbean.com the link will be below this video if you want to check that out all right so um, thank you for watching the video I hope you got value from it if you did please like and share also drop me a comment let me know how this helped you or if you have a story around um, 
what I've been sharing. If you are a business owner and you're struggling with data, uh, let me know in the comments Hannah, how you've been coping with organizing your contacts or managing your sales process. If you are watching this video on YouTube, please um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd really appreciate it and I'll see you on another video. Take care and bye. Hey guys, I'm going all out sharing practical business advice and sharing with you my journey in entrepreneurship and lessons that I'm learning along the way. So I'd love you to subscribe to my channel and share the videos that would really go a long way in helping me advance this course. Thank you very much. Hit subscribe.